Mama just told me a while ago that Scott called her earlier in the day asking her for the ingredients. It's like, to sit here and act like there's going to be some kind of competition and some kind of future date when you're calling asking for the ingredients. It's like, how can you sit here and have a competition when someone's calling you for the ingredients that morning, the morning of Christmas? I mean, that's kind of a joke, isn't it? I don't personally have an opinion about the custard because I've never drank it. I never will. I didn't drink it. I don't like that. I've never drank it. I never will. I didn't drink it. I don't like that. But what I will say is that I know for a fact that my dad can cook better than Lucas and Buddy and Alan and Levi and Matt combined. So my thought is if y'all don't like the consistency, he can alter the consistency. He can cook. Look at all these clunks. Now watch here. Now watch here. Now watch here. Check out that thickness. Yeah! It looks like cottage cheese! Yeah, it does. It looks like cottage cheese! It actually looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, yeah, if you want potatoes. So you tell him if you want it thick, if you want it medium, or if you want it thick or thin, he can do it anyway. But I guarantee you that he can blow your side of the park. Boom! <laughs> they don't know what the original recipe is. It's like, oh, this is good. Well, what are you comparing it to? It, it was humorous when Alan a few years ago thought that he had the only recipe to boil custard because we've had it on an old, dated, yellowed card that came directly from Nanny via my mama, passed down, in which we know that Nanny was gonna pass the good recipes down through her daughter and not through her son. <laughs> she didn't dictate it to Alan, she demonstrated well, I know, but he wrote it. Down. She showed him step by step what to do. He, he actually saw her make it. He does it the right way. He, he watched and it's not lumpy, he, he, and it's not got clots in it. It's not the consistency of mayonnaise. And so therefore, we had the recipe. And I will say probably kudos to what Audrey said that Alan's custard could never hang with my custard. And we will do a blind taste test anytime, any place, throw down the gauntlet, and let's see whose is the best. You could ball that stuff up and have a food fight with it. Laugh out loud. Because the scar to custard rocks. <laughs> well, what I remember was from the time I was probably four or five years old, which would make it 55 years ago, Nanny always made boiled custard for Christmas. From what I remember, it was in a glass with a big long spoon and she put whipping cream and nutmeg on top of it. It was fantastic. My little brother Scott has been trying to make it. It's pretty good. But if he could learn how to make it as much as he can run his mouth, it would be fantastic. What do you think? Mmm. Oh, best ever. This is like, mmm. My favorite thing about it is the consistency. I mean, custard is supposed to have some thickness to it. It's supposed to be, you know, custard is thick. If you have custard pie, it's thick. If you have custard ice cream, it's thick. This is a perfect consistency. You don't want anything that's runny like skim milk. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. The flavor though. Wow. Oh man. It's the flavor. That's, that's what makes this the best ever. Get it out of the park. So what do you think, Eden? It's the best thing ever. <laughs> okay. I want some more, guys. Why do you want more, Sayla? Because it's so good. <laughs> Papa, what do you think about the boiled custard? Oh, this is... A my, it's awesome! <laughs> Another year of custard wars. Not really a war, but when I look at Scott trying to trying to jump in the game. It's like it's like someone you know, decides, hey, I think I'm gonna be a cross country runner in the Olympics for the U.S. team. You know, in couple years. That's not how it works. Are you aware that right now Donna and Papa are at the Scarter's house drinking their custard? <laughs> if either one of them have dentures, I hope they put them in because they're having to chew on that stuff because it's about as clumpy as potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
KFC's been in business since when? The 40s? There's a reason their their sales pitch is still the original recipe. It's it's all the difference in the world. <laughs> Now he's gonna pick it up and then he says to her, she says, they don't have a name on it. What do you think? That's what you said. I think they won. You think what? I think he won. They won? I didn't know your daddy did. Yeah. Daddy made it, huh, man? Mmm. Daddy made it. Is that better than what you ate last night? Better than that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made our day. You made our day. <laughs> <laughs> 